shout out to Tim Dub. I know his man was always lipping it, and I wish he would have gave a better showing. Nobody questioned Jerron and his talent as a boxer. You could see it. What we did question was his resume. And we would compare his resume to Virgil Ortiz's resume, and it didn't hold up. Since it seemed these two guys will be on a collision course in the future, both talented Walter Waits. I don't think the fight will happen at Walter Waits, maybe at 154. But Jerron Ennis went in against Sergio Lipinitz. Lipinitz has never been knocked out. His only loss is against Mikey Garcia, which is a quality loss. And Jerron Ennis went in there and did his thing. Jab, jab to the body. He showed power, landed a big percentage in power punches. Showed great movement, head movement, and he took some of Lipinitz shots, showed a decent chin. He also used his height. He has seven inch reach advantage over Sergio Lipinitz and he used it. And he was three inches taller. And Sergio Lipinet is not old. He's 32 years old, he's in his prime. So far as I'm concerned, he proved he's the real deal. Jerron Ennis was very impressive tonight. This kid has a whole package. He's a switch hitter, great jab, great head movement. He moves around the ring real well, and he has power. And he did this against a guy who lost one fight in his career, who's ranked number nine by The Ring Magazine as a welterweight number nine by WBO, and number three by IBF. And he just destroyed him. Who would you like Ennis to fight next? Sean Porter, Thurman, Yordinas Ugas, if he doesn't fight Spent? One thing I forgot to mention about Ennis is he throws a lot of punches and he throws great combinations. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.